give us a little uh, description of, of what ASP.NET MVC is? Sure. Uh, so it's an alternative approach to building web applications. Uh, it's not a replacement for web form. It is ASP.NET still, right? You still have membership. You know, we're making use of ASPX uh, pages for um, rendering up views. The difference is, is you know, there's no post back model anymore. There's no view state. You know, in my view, I think it's a, a matter of style and preference. Uh, there's a lot of people who really like the web form model, but there's a lot of people who are kind of chafing at it. They don't really like the fact that it's uh, they see it as a leaky abstraction, uh, using a term from Joel Spolsky. And so they want to get closer to the metal. They don't want to drop a, a control on the page and not have full control over the markup that it renders. In Preview 4, <coughs> which we just released, uh, uh, so Preview 2 to Preview 3 was kind of interesting because we changed some really fundamental things. It was a painful change for, for people to upgrade to. But they were really excited about what we did there because it, it uh, improve the testability story. Uh, one of the things we want to support is being able to write automated unit tests of your right. code. Yeah. So if you're a TDD practitioner or if you're not but you like to write unit tests, mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice framework for that, which is a which has been a weak point of ASP.NET historically. So mm -hmm. trying to improve that. So from two to three we made a lot of changes to improve that story. From three to four it's more incremental. We've made a there's some uh, low level underlying changes to like the temp data provider and, mm -hmm. and temp data, uh, which is sort of framework stuff. And then we also added some more helpers for doing uh, simple AJAX scenarios. Where should we look for information? Okay, so for information, ASP.NET slash MVC is definitely the site to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a cutting edge developer, you'd love to look at the, always look at the latest new bits. Uh, go to codeplex.com slash ASP.NET, okay. and that's where we put the Codeplex releases. And you know, one of the things we're trying to do is not uh, have too much crosstalk. Where you know, if you are more conservative, you don't want to know every single little release that comes out. You know, you can stick to the, the MSDN or the ASP.NET mm -hmm. site. But if you, like I said, you're really cutting edge, go to Codeplex. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Phil. Yeah, that was awesome. It's, so there you go. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for showing up.